Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 67 of Bardic Quest, the show where a group of British trained actors tell fantastical improvised stories through the medium of Dungeons and Dragons. So, a reminder, we have merch! So, do, uh, it is being modelled this episode of course by Anina, modelling the Saga edition. Much. Here, here it is. Oh, it's yeah. very cool. Beautiful. You can have a sword on your chest. And who doesn't want that? Mm -hmm. Except perhaps your enemies. Um, so check out the merch, bardicquest.com forward slash shop. Also, a nice big thank you to our friend James Webster, who provides us with this wonderful animated digital artwork, which does feature throughout the show and indeed our opening credit sequence. So give him your support, patreon.com forward slash James RPG art and enjoy some of his animated artwork yourself and at your table. So without further ado, let's get into this week's episode of Party Quest. So, last time, after, uh, you know, recovering from their wounds after their battle with King Grohl and the Black Spider, um, our heroes managed to recover Gundren's map to Wave Echo Cave, and also a few extra goodies, including a few healing potions, which were sorely needed, I dare say. As they prepared to leave the castle grounds, they did, however, hear the blast of a horn as some hobgoblins made their presence known, presumably upon their return to the castle. In an effort to, or a failed effort to hide, um, Saga accidentally managed to spill some coinage from their latest uh, looting in, in the castle um, and Sergei, thinking quickly, cast disguise self upon himself, disguising himself as the black spider that they saw within the castle and is now pretending to hold Saga hostage as the hobgoblins uh, stumble or manage to hunt them down. Sergei is currently holding a knife to Saga's chest, whilst the hobgoblins ask Sergei, or the Black Spider, who he is, which is where we pick up with the hobgoblin, or hobgoblins, there are three of them with two walls behind them, holding their swords at you, Sergei, asking who you are. I would like to quickly whisper to Saga, follow my lead. And then I will say Saga is the tiniest like <laughs> down with a down with a chin. <laughs> Clear my throat a little <clears throat> and say Tis but a thief. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it was a... It, it was a mistake. Worry not, friends. I have seen my fair few. The hobgoblin holding and leading the interrogation looks at Saga and then looks back at you, Sergei. He says, yeah, and what about you? Uh, just, just passing through, please, please. I don't, I, I, I don't want any trouble, please. I thought you might have recognised me. 
should I have? I am here to visit the king. King Grohl. Well, who are you then? I go by many names, but the ones I wish my enemies to know me by is the Black Spider. Give me a deception check with a Oh, yippity yikes, boys! <laughs> uh, Saga's gonna like and you, yeah, act you, act like she's terrified. Absolutely. While this is happening, Wayne, yes. um, Doric, having rolled quite a good stealth, is just lying in a bush, <laughs> and though he hates to do it, he hasn't healed, and uh, mm -hmm. we might get in a fight. So he just very slowly, like, unstuffs a potion. <laughs> And just yeah. quietly swings it down <laughs> while this is happening in a bush. <laughs> in a bush. As you <laughs> pop open the <that. laughs> oh Alright. There it goes. Could you roll for your healing on the potion healing first, just before I get the deception check? Just so that we don't undermine all tension. Sorry. Is it 2d4? Uh, yes, 2d4, I believe. 2d4 plus 4? 2d4 plus 2? Uh, let me see... Two potion of healing is two uh, D four plus two. Correct. Okay. Wonderful. I rolled an eight plus six is fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. The. Uh, Hobgoblin eyes you up, looks at Saga again. Who's doing total damsel in distress Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. Um, and you see the Hobgoblin relax. It doesn't put its weapon away, but it's not looking as though he's going to got you at a moment's notice and he says what are you doing here which one do they say it to <laughs> to you <laughs> to me yes i simply came here to receive the map from the king You see the hobgoblin completely relax. He turns to his mates and they put their swords away. And uh, they say, Right, and what are we doing with her then? Fair enough. Please, please, please. please I... I have my own plans for feasts. A sort of Mental torture, if you will. One of them looks at the other, the two behind, they look at each other, and you hear one of them go, What's metal torture? And the, the, the kind of leader of the, of the three of them uh, gives a, a nod says, uh, well, I ain't going to ask what that entails, but it sounds creepy to me. Terrifying. But, um, look, I, uh, I'm slightly concerned about the security of your castle. I did, um, Happened to track this thief a little earlier on. The other side to us, there's more. They fled, but it might be worth your time bringing them to the king. Oh, yeah? How many of them? Three. What do they look like? Well, there was a 
very dashing young halfling. Finest teeth and eyes you'll ever see. Puny. Squish him like a bug. Well, I think he might... No, yes, yes, you will. Yes, and <laughs> a cloaked figure. Didn't really get a good look at. Well, and what a... colour's the cloak, then? It is dusk, my friends. Well, his, his cloak's dust coloured. No, as in, it is dark, it is hard to see. A black, maybe? Well, well, we'll, we'll be all right, won't we? Won't we, boys? We can see them. Yes, um... Can you that give was... me a nature check, please? Me? Okay. Yes. Yippity yikes! <laughs> That's not so good. That's a five. Okay. Well, what about the other one then? What's he look like? Which one? Sorry. The other one. You said it was free. The half and the dwarf and the cloaked man. Yes. Oh, dwarf. Right. Yes. Yes, oh, dwarf. Bloody dwarf, ain't wolves? Scum. Bloody scum. We yes. All our grog. Right. Well, it might be more effective for you, my dears, to spend less time throwing around vicious words, and you best get chasing them. They might be a few miles to the other side of the castle by now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, boys. And they but before them. you go, you reckon you can track them? Reckon we can what? Track them. Track them? Yes. Well, you said they're on the other side of the castle. Yes, but I'm sure they'll be hiding amongst some trees somewhere, way further on. And they kind of, they don't really know what to do with themselves, and they should rush off to try and uh, capture these vagabonds, or whether or not they should listen to whatever advice and pearls of wisdom you're about to impart upon them. And they kind then of will... a little lost. Have they gone? No, no, no they've not gone. They're, they're waiting oh. to hear what you've got to say. Well, the, uh, the only way to track them, they travel by the position of the sun. Always walk towards the sun, and you will find them. Right. Once the sun goes, wait until the sun comes back up. So hang on a second, though. Because if the sun goes, and they're always moving towards the sun, does that yes. mean they've just disappeared? You'll figure that one out. But if they've disappeared, then how do we track them? Well, look, this is a conversation that gives them more time to run. Oh, that's right, yeah. Come on, boys, let's go. And they draw their swords and run past you towards the castle. Once they're sort of out of earshot, I'm going to turn to Saga and I'm going to go, Now, thief, before I stab you, I just want you to say, the halfling has never smelt bad, and is by far the most dashing member of our little party. Um, she's going to turn, check that they're out of earshot, I go, Drop the knife, should say, okay? Look, I just wanted you to say it. It's so nice to hear a compliment. And I'll sheath the knife. Sergey? Yes? You are the most entertaining party member we have. Okay, now you're pushing it. All right, you're right. You can kiss him later. Like, shall we, shall we, shall we? <laughs> you, you shut up. There were a lot of kisses you, coming, by the way. You, Thorek. Shut up. Look, I'm not some sort of... Just going to kiss everyone. I hate all of you. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> I didn't mean you. Um, um, yeah. Don't don't get in <laughs> you, can, you can shut up and all, and I'm, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on him. <laughs> yes. 
right. We'll have your lesson to you. Mm. How much heal have we got there? Uh, I give him, it's got to be a level one, but it's going to be uh, uh, eight points of healing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, go over to Sergey and give him a crack on the shoulder and go, oh. that was impressive. Thank you. I am hopefully they won't go back to the castle and they're on a bit of a goose chase because you can't chase the sun. I thought it was hilarious. I mean, that was that... particularly inspired. That was very clever. And Saga's going to pick up the coins that dropped. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> well, <laughs> just checking. Um, all right. So what are you going to do now? Is Gundren with us? Gundren is with you, yes. Yeah. Where was he the whole he time? Was he was hiding. He was hiding, obviously. I was the only one who royally fucked up. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I wondered where he went. <laughs> He's in a bush next to Thoric, probably. I like drag him up. We both. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Not only Gundren, you also have the black spider with you guys. Don't forget. Yeah. We would like to head in a general direction of Fandolin and find somewhere to camp. Okay. So, if you're going to head in the direction of Fandolin, I'm please don't say we have to follow the sun. <laughs> 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 I am going to need a navigation check, which is going to be a survival check from whoever's going to take the lead of the party. Uh, I'm only plus one for survival. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good, but I'm plus, plus one. I'm plus one is someone else. I got a plus five. There you go. Yeah, you can do it. You do it. <laughs> I mean, Saga can help. I'll <laughs> help. So we we take the lead, and we get collectively a 16. Not bad. Okay. So you <laughs> you take a look up at the sun, take a look back at the castle, try and gain your bearings, and then you head off in the direction you believe Fandolin to be. And as you move deeper into the forest, as the sun starts to descend in the sky. A damnable mist starts to shroud the trail ahead of you, obscuring sight beyond perhaps a few yards. Its touch is frigid and wet and it clings to your garments and your hair as the cold winter weather really starts to, to take hold of the evening. And you press on, following the trail as best you can, peering through the fog as you go. And you swear on occasion that you see things moving in the mist, perhaps dark shapes darting here and there just beyond your, your sight, but you shake your head, presuming it's a trick of the, the light or, the, or the, the fog and the mist. And you continue through the forest as darkness begins to set in. What would you like to do? I have a question. Yes. Um, are we going past the abandoned shrine or in that direction? Are we going the exact opposite direction? Abandoned shrine. South of Coneyberry. Oh, no, you're heading Why not? Okay. in a different direction. Okay. No worries then. Yeah, Coneyberry... Would have made of, a pit stop if yeah, we were going that way, but we're the, not. In terms of the trail that mm -hmm. uh, the tribal trail that yeah. connects Coneyberry with with Vandalin. Coneyberry is like east, and Vandalin yeah. is like way west on the tribal trail. So there. Well, well if we're ever direction. that way, I will ask for a detour. But we're going the opposite way, so that's fine. Of course. Um, so night is now very much setting in very dark outside um what would you like to do is there anywhere good to set up camp for the night or anywhere 
okay-ish to set up camp for the night because surely we don't want to walk through the night. Mm. Well, if this fog <clears throat> persists, it'll at least help us or hinder them as much as it's hindered us. So mm. it'll hopefully buy us a bit of time. <clears throat> yeah, let's let's stop. Okay. Um, can I get a survival check then, please? Uh, in the attempt to find a campsite. 19. Okay. Uh, you managed to find, uh, despite the fog, um, a nice area which you believe to be a forest clearing of sorts um, and start settling down and setting up camp for the evening there. Uh, now, an important question. Are you going to want a fire this evening? Mm. Yes. <laughs> is, it, is it really thick fog still? It's pretty thick, yeah. It's still winter, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> it is still winter. It's you foggy. Don't, you don't make it easy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah well, um, why would I do such a thing? If it's <sighs> this foggy, a bit of smoke shouldn't be. Yeah. Too. And we do have extra guards. Hmm. True. Right. At least we can all sleep through the night. Or is that unfair on the barbarians? They need sleep too. We'll take shifts. Okay. Okay. In fact, I'd say it might be better to have two people on watch at once with the amount mm. of things you've got. Yeah. All right. Uh, every party member and their barbarian can take watch. I don't have a barbarian. Well, you uh, lost out then, didn't you? <laughs> well, um, I'm going to hand Boar over to Sergey, and I will have my watch with Johan and one of the other. Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, it seems it's not only I that is getting a kiss tonight. Oh, speak Rock. Rock. <laughs> Ow! I slapped both of these idiots. I'm like, can you two shut up? There's still people looking for us, and the more pine cones you two starts to phone at each other, the more I'm going to heal you, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do to you yet. Who I'm told him? He started it. Who told him? What? Hmm? Who told Sergey? I mean, I made a I, passing comment, but yeah. you. I, uh, I, I didn't I, think he was that eagerly to. Uh, eagle eye. Same thing. Yeah. Wait, wait, what happened? Nothing, sir. Nothing. You spent a night in a, in a tavern together, yes? Yeah, you were there. That's what I was referencing. That's what we were talking Good. about. Oh, I thought something else happened. <sighs> no. Yeah, going red. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll take a pine cone out. Look, life's good then. Looks like it's me and you, Coney. No. <laughs> pine. I'll call it pine. You place the pine cone on your shoulder. Which stays there for a brief moment before just dropping to the floor. Oh, I don't know how I expected that one to go. <laughs> so, um, you set up camp, you get your fire going to keep yourselves warm for the evening. What, if anything, do you want to do before you settle down for the night? Did we study the map? Um, you haven't, but Gundren is keeping it very, very close. Mm. And he wants to get to Vandalin, so... We can probably see it there? Because he Johan. said he wanted to share it with us. Johan has an interest in seeing this map. Okay. Oh, I, I approach Gundren Rockseeker. Mm -hmm. Gundren, 
Hi. May I, may I be permitted to take a look at the map? Gundren feels a little, or seems to feel a little uncomfortable. And uh, he says, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to keep it close. Can we just get to town first and then we can, in the comfort of the inn, we can just, we can peruse it to our heart's content. But with everything I've been through and, and you know, the fight that we've had on our hands to keep this safe, I just want to keep it tucked in my shirt, you know, where it's you, nice and safe. Johan locks in with an intense stare. And then says, very well, and turns away. Leans against a tree. And sighs in frustration. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be funny. It's the leaning on the tree. <laughs> it's the tree leaning. It's because I can't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or torture him or, you know, or interrogate him. Fine. I need to look at it. Okay, so what watch orders are we going for? Uh, I'll take first watch. So, yeah, we'll take first watch. Okay. So it's Saga, Johan and uh, Grigor? For the yeah. Watch? Okay. Who's next? I can take the next one. It'll be so game four. Yeah. And then I'll take the, the dawn watch so I can maybe have a little search through my spells and see if I want to change anything. Okay. Alright. Great. Alright. So you all settle down for the mm. evening. Um mark off uh, a, oh no. No, yes. Mark off some food eatings off of your character sheet. For the um, once we're on our watch, I, Saga, would like to do things. Okay. <laughs> Don't you start. All right. What what things would Saga like to do? So Saga's going to send, is a Grigor, off to patrol. Sure. And... Presumably, Johan is sitting by the fire, so she'll sort of sit next to him. Mm -hmm. A bit awkwardly. She looks a bit shy. Must be strange. Oh. What, what do you mean? You've been running from your tribe for so long, and now to have three of them around you must yeah. be strange. It is strange. Especially when they follow my orders. That's especially strange. Still getting used to the whole chieftain thing. Yeah, hopefully it's temporary. I I wanted to ask you something. Speak. When with the with the fight with Ridwell, why why did you kneel to me? You you had every chance of being a chief if you wanted to. A chance of power and you didn't take it. I just Wondered why. I... Saga, I'm a killer. I know that, and so do you. I'm no Thank leader. You. I'm a life of command, and orders, and rule. It's not in my future. I feel the same. Ah. I'm not sure you should. 
What, you think I should change these beasts into some sort of civilized things? You can't change a tiger's stripes. Everything's impossible until it isn't. I... I miss it when it was just the four of us. You know? I'd, I'd like that back. So send them away? they're useful and I'm if I send them back everyone will know about me the rest of the tribe hopefully think I'm gone dead but if you carry on this facade of pretending that you're dead You'll never be safe. You'll forever be looking over your shoulder. You'll never be, you'll be forever living in fear. If they know that you're alive and know that you're their chieftain, you needn't hide anymore. Isn't that worth something? It is. Could I get a perception check from each of you, please? <sighs> With disadvantage due to the fog. Why is my fly undone? <laughs> oh my god, a, a, a one. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Thank god someone's paying attention. 19. Mm hmm. Okay. As Grigor is circling the camp. The wind starts to howl through the trees, making them sway and bend. The leaves rustle ominously, and the branches creak under the strain. As Grigor is moving around the camp, you can see him just on the outskirts of the firelight. And suddenly, you see him disappear into the fog as if dragged by his ankles into the darkness. Something is wrong. W what is it? Rigor has gone. Wake the others. Uh, suddenly, okay. <laughs> from amongst the fog, emerges a lone wolf, its piercing yellow eyes glowing in the darkness. The wolf's coat is a beautiful mix of greys and blacks, moving with a graceful, confident stride, just into the light, looking daggers, it seems, straight at you, Saga. Hey! Hey! Do I recognise the wolf? same wolf that was looking up at you when you were in the inn. Oh no. What is it? He's here. Oh no. She stands up and she walks towards the wolf. What are you doing? As you walk towards the wolf the wolf turns and runs into the fog and as it does so the fog rolls closer to you and as it creeps closer four large wolves twice the size of the other step from the mist, their eyes glowing with a fierce intelligence. Suddenly, the largest wolf lets out a blood-curdling howl, 
as if to signal to the others that they have found their target. And they charge forward. And that <coughs> is where we shall end this week's episode. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate, and review on your podcatcher of choice. James just giving me the middle finger. I see you, James. <laughs> and we will catch you guys next week. <laughs>